this episode, Jesper finally kind of leaves um, camp for mm. a pretty good reason. Can you talk a little bit about like how he got over the fear and? Yeah, um, I mean, Jasper's been having, uh, I mean, a lot of fear problems with post-traumatic stress disorder after being speared on the chest. <laughs> Wouldn't really do it to you. Um, but uh, I think his love for Octavia and um, I, and that solely is, is enough for him to kind of step up and take a, a chance, um, even if it means his life might be at uh, risk again. Um, so, so that's his sacrifice, kind of. Is, is he just, you know, that's why he crossed the river in the first place in the first episode was to impress Octavia. So, um, uh, he really cares about her, and, and having her back means more to him than than staying alive. It seems so. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see. Um, you know, initially, a spear to the chest might seem like something a little bit difficult to survive. Fatal. Yeah, a little fatal. Um, so, now, now that you know that you're kind of in there, is there mm -hmm. any sort of sense of, I could be okay and survive the rest of the season, or is it all, like, co co constantly wondering if it's ever going to come from? It's, it's interesting. I mean, um, I was supposed to die in the pilot. Uh, like, it was, the role was dead. Uh, and that's why I signed, I signed on, and I thought it was a cool uh, script, and I, I loved the story, and I loved even more that this guy was, like, the most lovable, charismatic, funny guy, and they offed him first, and, um, and that, that really excited me, that, that when he died, it would really, really suck, um, but they decided to not kill me because it sucked too much. Um, so, so after that moment, I kind of knew for a little bit I'd be okay because, you know, I had my chance at death. Uh, but there's no saying as to what could happen down the line, obviously, because Earth is crazy. Now. Are we going to be seeing any more of Jasper's friendship with Monty? Yeah, um, that's something that I always wanted more of, uh, but there is going to be a nice opportunity uh, down the line to see, uh, it gets difficult, you know, friendship when there's so many politics going on, and um, egos are flying around, so uh, we do have, there's a really fun, um, uh, sad fun <laughs> episode with Monty and Jasper. See that bromance. Do we get more backstory on Jasper? Um, we see there him? isn't so much yet. Uh, I, I was saying earlier, I think Jasper's more of the, you know, he's one of the minor criminals amongst the hundreds, so his, his backstory uh, is probably more like, um, I don't know, some he was having fun 80s on the stoner show. movie, yeah. <laughs> um, whereas the others is like, uh, you know, some bad prison film, but uh, it was where they're just shanking each other. But uh, yeah, so it's, but we do see there is a flashback in, in one, uh, when this Wednesday's episode coming up where uh, you know we flash back into Bellamy and Octavia's life, and uh, Jesper is there, and so to see him. I don't know what I can say about this. So. Yeah. We've all seen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Then, uh, yeah. yeah. See, see his initial sort of interaction with Octavia, which is cool. How does Jasper, um, after his next encounter with the Grounders, how does that emotionally affect him? Does it make it worse or better? Um, I think it's. I mean, in in a way, it's worse and better because he, he needed to kind of uh, face his fear and and let out what he had inside. I think he's he's dealing with a lot of anger um, and a lot of and a lot of fear. <laughs> um, you know, he's he's afraid of these guys, but um, he's also angry at being afraid. I think, and he's tired of it. Um, tired of being you know just behind these walls and, um, in their world. Uh, He's been tired of being locked up, so he lets out a lot of emotion in this next episode. You kind of see him break a little bit um, because he's been holding in a lot. You know, he got speared, and the guy's just been sort of keeping it on the DL. But now he's ready to let everyone know how he feels. <laughs> And what's next for Jasper and Octavia? I mean, are they going to revisit that? Yeah, I mean, this episode, yeah, we're, we're on the, the hunt for Octavia, and um, 
that that's a, you're going to see a lot of progress there, I think, for, for Jasper and her, because that's a big leap of faith for him to take. Uh, and then um, down the line, I mean, it's tough because Octavia is a free soul, and she is a wild girl, and, you know, it's hard to lock one of those down, especially <laughs> when you're on Earth for the first time, and you got so much freedom. So uh, it can be, it's going to be a fun fun journey for Jasper trying to, you know, win her heart over uh, a struggle, a struggle and, and, and a painful one. <laughs> Do you think Jasper has a better chance with her than up, that up there on Earth than he would have up on the Ark if they had been, yeah. they'd been free? I mean, Octavia was locked up kind of like a basket case almost, you know, she was just locked under floorboards for years, so um, no one really had the chance to to speak to Octavia back then um, in space. So she was kind of like just this idea, I think. Um, but, uh, but yeah, now that we're on, we're on Earth, you know, anything's game, right? Uh, she, uh, yeah, was, I'm like one of 90 now. So, <laughs> got good, good odds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.